All right, so El Chapo has us doing some more challenges in Tag de Toten. This one can be found in the secret facility. And once you get to the third step, you're going to want to complete the whack-a-mole station using snowballs. I was very confused initially by this challenge just because mole is a nickname I have for my penis. So I had a completely different setup planned. But if you look on the loading platform where you can zip line back, there is a little bullseye challenge here. And this is where you're going to want to start. So to begin the little challenge sequence, what you're going to want to do is throw a snowball at the bullseye and not miss completely initially, but throw it at the bullseye. And what's going to happen is some moles are going to start spawning in. And I was actually, this didn't really make sense to me because these don't really look like moles. They look more like zucchinis. But nonetheless, what you're going to want to do is when they pop up, just knock them down. A little tip I have for you is to aim low because if you aim too high, you miss and you feel depressed about it. But as you can see on the left side, I have one of three done, and that's that's the first set that you have to do, and you have to do this two more times. All right, so now you gotta do the second set, same as before, you throw the little snowball at the bullseye to begin the sequence. Um, the first set gave you five of those moles or the zucchinis, however you wanna classify them as. Uh, the second set, I counted as nine. I feel like it's probably 10, just to make it more, you know, round. But uh, I refuse to go back and check. I, I probably miscounted. Yeah, that's probably a thing. But uh, now we're at 9 or 10. And it definitely, it's kind of hard to do. I, I would definitely make sure having a shield. And also, it was weird too because I didn't realize that I had uh, ran out of snowballs. And I threw a wraith fire and it counted. So I don't really know if throwing just wraith fires at this would work. But uh, that's something definitely to think about. But yeah, just remember that there are frozen snowballs to the left and right of where you're standing. All right, now we move on to the last one, and I'm gonna be honest, this challenge can go suck a dick because Jesus Christ, does it get hard. I mean, not to mention, I do have, you know, like the accuracy of a, I'm gonna go with a squirrel that has autism and a blindness deficiency to them. Um, it, it's hard, like I actually got lucky here. I, I killed the zombie because my God, that, that dude was fucking annoying. And then um, I was lucky enough to get a dog round the next round. So not only does it take them longer to spawn in, but I mean, who really cares about dogs? I don't think I've died to one since, what was it, 2010? So yeah, I mean, it, I definitely got lucky here, but I, I counted 14 of these little fucking uh, I don't know, what, Five Nights at Freddy's things. Um, but yeah, once, once you finish that up, it's gonna, when you, what do you call it? You're gonna win. Yeah, you're gonna complete the challenge and you can see I'm uh, ecstatic. Uh, I'm moving my controller around in quite an erratic motion. And uh, yo, this challenge is so stupid. I'm, I, I forgot what it gave you. It gave you something like half, yeah, half price to the traps. Thank you, Treyarch. I mean, just these, these challenges are fucking stupid. The hermit, the whatever this guy, Pablo, uh, I don't know, Gonzalez or whatever the hell, he can go suck a dick. I don't give a fuck. But uh, yeah, just subscribe, dislike, stay chocked, and I don't know, just don't die.